Hello guys. Today we are going to talk about uh, Certified Facility Manager, CFM. It's an uh, invaluable credential in facility management and top certification by IFMA in USA. This is table of contents for lecture today. What is CFM, why you need it, who should take it, why you take it with Engbook, and the exam overview, course schedule. It's 12 days. Every day we are going to talk uh, about one core competence area from the CFM candidate book. And the last day, day number 12, it's a revision about the all lectures. We're going to solve an exam questions like practice exam to prepare you for the actual one. Then we are talking about the benefit and outcome from this course. And if you have any question, So first, what is CFM? It's the most respected and the most reliable credential for over than 25 years. Issued by IFMA in USA, it's the first and only globally recognized certification facility management. Uh, IFMA now, they have three main certification program in the facility management. The first one, FMP, Facility Management Professional, it's for new entry people and it focuses on four uh, competence area. Second one, sustainability facility professional, it focuses on three uh, areas. And the last one, certified facility manager, it's our topic today. It's a holistic one, and for professional and experienced people, it focuses on 11 core competence. The FMB and SFP, there is mandatory course by IFMA, but CFM need application for people who has more than uh, five years of experience in the field. So CFM is benefit for individual and organizations. It sets the standard of facility management. And anyone who work uh, on the CFM, he can work in any industry whatever the type of industry, healthcare, corporate, retail, government, etc., And he can manage any type of facility like hospital, school, hotel, office building, residential. He can manage one facility or more than hundreds locally or widely, many different parts of the world. And it's competency based, not just knowledge based. You cannot just uh, study and take the credential, pass the exam and you can say I am the top uh, professional CFM. It's based on experience as a prerequisite facility management. Then you study hard and pass the examination. You can call yourself experts in facility management. This is some benefit as issued uh, by FMA, distinguish you in the FM industry and the investment in the future because people normally they receive higher salary from 25 to 50 percent more than other people. And as we said, is it establish standards and demonstration of you as a leader in the field. Here, just the example of the job vacancy or job requirements, opportunities from uh, big companies. And as you see here, the, the, the only require like senior manager, director, associate director, so CFM, it's a very top credential. And when you have it, you can work as a manager or director. Who should take it? MEB engineer, mechanical, electrical, architect, civil engineer, facility manager, asset manager, and anyone has experience, at least in nine competency area of total 11 required for the credential. I will take it to the English book because the lecturer or instructor in academic wise, he has a doctorate degree and the MSc, BSc in engineering fields. And the professional wise, he has a BE license from USA, a charter engineering license from UK, charter professional engineering license from Australia, and technical member in many societies in USA like Ashley SFBE, in UK like CFC, IFE, in Australia, like in Junior Australia, SFS, more than 50 years of experience as a consultant and project manager in top companies. 
And the uh, second point, so the content of course is very inform informative to the points, learning based and exam based. The mode of delivery, it will be virtual through Zoom, interactive with the uh, group uh, members. And we have WhatsApp group for the people who take the course in order to interact and share the knowledge. And we support you till you pass the exam. Here exam overview, it's in my MSQ, multiple choice, 180 question, 160 scored, 20 unscored, and one scored. Duration of exam four hours, closed book. You can take it anytime when your application approved. Online in Proctor uh, Parametric Center or Proctor at home, your office. It is, to be eligible, you should have uh, minimum five years after a bachelor degree or three years if you have bachelor or master in facility management. Exam registration fee based on your uh, location, your tier. For US, Europe, GCC, as you see here, first tier. Bahrain, Lebanon, second tier, other Arab countries, 341 and 505 if you are not a member. GSA if you're working in federal uh, regulation in USA. And it's valid for three years for the certification. Uh, almost you base the half uh, of the exam fee. This is a blueprint of the exam, 11 area as we said. This example of the question you're going to find is in the actual exam. It covers the whole 11 uh, core areas, real estate, risk management, operation maintenance, technology. This is the course schedule. It's based on the 11 core, core competence area. Day one, we are going to talk about occupancy factor. Day two, sustainability. Day three, operation maintenance. Day four, information technology. Day five, risk management. Day six, communication. Day seven, quality performance. Day eight, project management. Day nine, finance and business. Day 10, real estate. Day 11, leadership strategy. Day 12, the last day, general revision. So this is day one. We are going to talk about occupancy factor for three hours. It covers 40 question exam. Talk about people need basic and security social need as their Maslow hierarchy needs, indoor air quality, safety security, people productivity and creativity. As you see here, Maslow law, Maslow needs hierarchy, healthy foods, smaller facility for more interactive, sustainable office. This is the noise criteria. This cleanest level as per ABB organization. Here, lighting effect based on the position of the lighting to your eyes. Here, ergonomics and how to, how to avoid it. Environmental, uh, indoor environmental quality and the indoor air quality with thermal comfort. Day two, sustainability. Travel bottom line, really sustainability, carbon trading. Energy management, water management, material management, site management for three hours as well. As we see here, sustainable sites, sustainable procurement, water conservation, energy management, waste management, travel bottom line, and degree lead guides. This is operation and maintenance, hard and soft service, building and the building system, infrastructure, foundation, substructure, substructure, and type of uh, furniture, FFE and uh, type of maintenance like unplanned maintenance, planned maintenance, preventive, corrective, predictive maintenance, operation process, work management system. And you see here, thermal scanning for the envelope, hard service, soft service, FFE, building automation system, type of maintenance, cleaning the envelope, wall molding, wall cracks, check uh, checklist. Day four, information technology, Building automation system, CMS, IWMS, BIM, BIM dimension, 3D imaging, VoIP, voice overall, uh, voice over internet protocol, RFID, elevation mobility. As you see here, BIM and BIM dimension, IWMS, BMS, overall building automation system with RFID and here energy management, 
with building mission management, or BMS. Day five, risk management for three hours. We talk about the identification risk as their ISO 31,000. As you see here, what is the risk? Is it hazard or opportunity? What is the role of FM and risk management? And how we manage crisis in order to make business continuity or business as usual by decreasing the incidents and uh, crisis. Now to respond to this. Day six, communication. Communication models in the receiver, including decoding, message channel, feedback, type of uh, communication, upward, downward, formal, informal, verbal, nonverbal, and how to evaluate and deliver it by active listening, cross culture, based on the type of people, stakeholder, media response, how to make business writing, emails, report, presentation, this communication model, 93% of communications, non variables very important to behave and to manage your body language and voice too. Effective meeting by agenda meeting, how to make business writing, 7C of effective communication. Eight, uh, day number seven, performance and quality. Talk about ISO 9000, plan to check acts, benchmarking to the quality management, six sigma, the mic, voice of customer, RCA like five files, Pareto, Fishbone, or Ishikawa, check sheet, flow chart, control chart, Kaizen, gamma analysis, best practice. Here, ISO, land check act, TQM, control chart, six sigma, the mic. KBIs and the VOC, voice of customers. Day eight, project management. We are going to discuss about PM book, knowledge area, process group. This PM book knowledge area, earned value management by plant value, earned value, actual cost. In order to know projects behind or ahead of schedule, over under budget, agile management, strategy planning, land charts. Day nine, finance and business, objects and fabrics, uh, fixed costs, variable costs, indirect costs, direct costs. What is uh, feasibility visibility uh, statement, uh, financial statement like balance sheet, income statements, cash flow, and how to make financial analysis like IRR, NBB, ROI, EBIT, EBITDA, ROA, payback periods. This balance sheet, income statement, cash flow. Financial ratios, requirements from retendering, tendering post awards, contract documents, components, serv uh, service level agreement, lease or purchase, capex and opex difference, variable fixed cost, total cost, life cycle cost from purchase, operation maintenance, fabrication dispose. Day 10 real estate, I'm going to talk about strategy, what's the difference between property management, building management, different standards like Puma, Oscar, NAR, different area like usable, rentable, gross area, circulation, primary, secondary, and the five R's, uh, master plan, these options, common share or common uh, maintenance payments by tenant, crime prevention through environmental design, As you see here, strategies, five hours, different standards. Here, Puma standard, like rentable area, tenable area, gross area, difference. Life cycle of business, starting from startup. After this, if you want to prevent or avoid this, you have to make innovation, creativity, repairs. Software for space management, like Archibus. Here, master plan components. Day 11, leadership strategy is very important. I'm going to talk about strategy, vision, mission, goal, value, culture, how to write, measure, segment, vision, segment, tactical planning, how to implement SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunity, threats, internal and external, how to team, make team building, forming, storming, norming, performing, adjourning, how to apply delegation environment, employees, Chain of command, spell of control, leadership and management, and CSR for any uh, corporate. To be leader, you should think before you act in order to influence, inspire people, share vision, lead change, empower people, SWOT analysis, internal, external, team building, CSR, strategic planning, formulation, planning, organizing. 
directing and control. And last day we have revision for two hours for all lectures, solve the exam together, and to uh, ask you, uh, advise you how to apply and full support to be the exam. The outcome or benefits, you will gain some knowledge and understanding of such management. You will be more qualified to buy the exam. You will be distinguished among your peers and gain more trust from public employer clients. And you'll be called to recognize experts as their IFMA. And you'll have more opportunity shortlisting with top employers. If you have any question, please let me know. You can subscribe to our website and YouTube channel in order to have all the updates. Thank you so much.